the thing is with something like binge eating is we've got we use it colloquially as well to talk about binge eating in everyday language like oh I had a binge and whatever and then you have like the clinical binge eating so the clinical definition of a binge is eating within a discrete period of time the example given is like normally around a two-hour window an amount of food that's definitely larger than most people would eat in similar circumstances and accompanied by a loss of control but there's already so much subjectivity in there because what is you know, an amount of food definitely larger than most people would eat in certain circumstances. So the example I sometimes give is like, if you're on an all-inclusive holiday, it's pretty common to eat way more than you would if it was Tuesday evening at home for many people. Um, And because that's common, that wouldn't necessarily come under a binge, even if you felt like you ate a lot of food. But the loss of control part is the very distressing part as well. And then there's another five subset criteria, which is things like, experiencing a lot of guilt and disgust and shame around your eating, eating secretly, eating until uncomfortably full, eating quickly, um, and eating when not hungry. And there's just three out of five of those that need to be part of it too. And then it needs to happen um, once a week for a minimum of three months. That's to kind of like binge eating disorder. Oh, and the last part is, is there has to be significant distress around it. Sometimes people hear about binge eating disorder and they want to diagnose a family member. But if somebody is eating, let's say, and it looks like they're binging, but they're fine with it, technically it wouldn't come under an eating disorder. But the word binge eating isn't protected. So I work with a lot of people who might not fit the eating disorder criteria, but they're in just as much distress around their food and feeling out of control. And they're much more dismissed as well because everyone's saying, Oh, it's not that bad. You ate that amount of food. Well, I sometimes eat that amount of food. And I think people feel so misunderstood by those around them. Because if you haven't experienced it, I think it is pretty hard. Has food you're eating or how you're eating, is it taking over your life? Is it stopping you from doing things that you think you would do otherwise? Is there loads of things in your life that you go, oh, well, once I fix my food problem, then I'll do this. So it's how much of a hindrance it is. Um that I think is a helpful starting place for somebody to try to understand whether their relationship with food um, is something that might need a bit of help 